Okay. Yep. It's starting to get magical again. It's almost like Rally Skunk all over again. Boy, I mean, how many come from behind wins? How many walk-off wins are we going to have? I mean, my voice is shot. <clears throat> I'm not sure what you're going to get out of me after that. Lots of patience at the plate. You know what? Uh, the guys really have a lot of quality at bats today. A lot of them. And uh, some balls we hit hard. We didn't have some two out things fall for us, but it wasn't for lack of trying. I thought, you know, the ball coffin hit, you know, hit, you know, on the screws, and the guy made a good play. And um, the guy in the, down the third base line made a good play. And I thought Mead smoked the ball earlier in the right center field. So I thought we had a lot of, lot of quality at bats today. Gregory started that rally with it. You know what, it's not the first time. You know, he came up the other day in a big situation, got a big hit. So, um, you know, he got the whole thing started. And uh, the crowd was wanting people to go home, but that was really smart for those guys not to run home on those pass balls, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. Um, the ball bounces hard here, and the last thing you want to do is run into an out right there in that situation. So I thought Justin did a good job. Then Meat came, <coughs> comes up and barely gets under the glove, but you still only had one out there. So he gets. No, I mean, and I just talked to the scorekeeper because that. In our eyes, that's definitely a hit because if he if he doesn't keep that ball in front of him and do that, that ball's by him. The ball game's over. So I thought uh, Mead had a, a quality at bat there, and then Nate, yeah. you know, with two strikes, you know, fought off the ball and um, got the big hit for us to win it. And to do all that with one out and just keep keep it going. Just, yeah, just I mean, um, I mean, you're down three runs in the ninth. It doesn't happen. You come back that often, but the guys really showed a lot of heart tonight. I think this is twice we came back on their bullpen to did that earlier this year. Well, and I know the guy that they just brought in threw four and two-thirds innings last night, so I know their bullpen was pretty exhausted, and um, so I'm, I'm sure they're they're feeling it tonight. Just how important was this another bounce back game where you had a bad night last night, had a good night this night? It was night. really critical, and you know, and I need to give some credit tonight to Brendan Malkowski because he was pitching with back spasms today. Um, people said, why'd you take him out at that situation? You know, his back was really stiffening up, and he fought and clawed to try to get the outs he did. I don't know if you noticed, but his velocity was down significantly. But he knew we didn't have anybody to go along. And so I've got to give a lot of credit for that win to him tonight. Yeah, a big one out of Ernie tonight. You think he's finally getting settled in? You know, um, he hadn't hit for four or five days before he got here, so your timing's going to be off. But he certainly smoked that ball to center field today. And um, that kind of got our offense started. I mean, our our dugout lit up after that play. So I'm hoping we can carry all the energy from tonight and carry it into tomorrow's game. Hi, tomorrow. I'm Bill Bonin II with People's National Bank. Being a family-owned Southern Illinois bank, we are proud of our partnership with the Southern Illinois miners. People's National Bank, now more than ever, is focused on bringing you the very best products, including the Southern Illinois Miners Checking Account, Stop by any People's National Bank and see how every time the miners win, so do you, with an increase in your rates in your Southern Illinois Miners Checking Account. People's National Bank is proud to show you what banking with a family-owned bank is all about.